This course is all about confidence, riding confidently and riding a horse that feels confident. Now, what is confidence? For me, it's about knowing what might happen next. If I get on a horse who's got its head in the air and it doesn't really understand the bridle cues and it's not relaxed, I really don't know what's going to happen next. If I get on a horse like this one here that's nice and soft and round and relaxed, then I'm fairly sure I can predict what possible things could happen next. So that's what confidence is all about and that's what this course is all about, teaching you and your horse what's going to happen next. So here's the horse before the lesson. So you can see this horse is nervous, he's uncomfortable, the tail is swishing, his ears are back, his back's hollow because his head's so high up. The rider hasn't really got any contact. Has she got any control? Mm, I'm thinking not. The horse isn't paying attention. Is the horse willing? Well, not to me at all, really, because the horse isn't understanding anything. Can't be willing to do something it doesn't understand. Is the rider safe? No, not a chance. Is the horse happy? No. What's the thing that's really missing from here is relaxation. You can't really do anything. You can't get any sort of performance in any discipline until you get the horse to relax. So what we need to do is start communicating using the bridle and teach the horse to give to the bit and be soft in the bridle, which is where we start our communication and then we can get the horse to relax, which is the first thing and the most important thing. So here's the horse after the lesson. Now the first thing we see is relaxation. The rider now has the horse's attention, the horse looks comfortable in his frame, he's swinging his back, he's relaxed, you can see his tail's now relaxed, his ears are soft and listening. He's using his top line. He's light in the bridle, you can see the rider hasn't got a huge amount of um, pressure on the reins. Um, he's willing, you know, he's, he's, being, he's doing what he's been asked to do because he's listening to the rider and he's understanding those cues. So what we're getting here is a confident horse. He's a horse that knows what might happen next. And because of that, we had a confident rider. So what's mostly changed from in that horse from one photograph to the next? And what's mostly changed is that it's is his relax. So he's stopped using all those muscles under his neck that you can see on the left there in red, where he's been tensing those up and he's been lifting his head and hollowing his back. And what he's now started to do is he's starting to use his top line muscles. So the muscles on the top of the neck and along the top of the back where he softens and relaxes. This is the first step towards relaxation. It's the first step towards really communicating with your horse and starting a partnership where you guys can talk to each other, understand each other and go off and do great things. So not all horses start as extreme as that bay one. This is the horse we saw first of all in the very first picture. And here you can see this is a young horse and she's rather tense in this picture. Her mouth's open, her head's tilted a bit. She's not stepping under herself at all, which tells me she's not using her back properly at all. And she's not with the rider. And by that, I mean, she's not paying attention. I would think, you know, if I was sitting on this horse, I would worry that if she saw something um, to her side or behind her or something that she might get a fright. And, and shy at that. I don't think she's concentrating on me at all. So what I need to do is I need to start to teach to give to the bit, to relax, to be in frame. Now this, we start this exercise in walk. It's very important that you break it down enough for the horse to understand each thing. So it's easier to start on the ground, which we do, and then we go to walk and then trot and then canter. So let's have a look at this horse in walk. Now when I've asked the horse to relax in walk, we have got a much more relaxed. Her head's now straight, she's stopped tilting her head, she's stepping under herself. She's up, I've actually asked her to lower her head because I'm just um, letting her rest for a while. But you can see that she's walking in a nice relaxed frame, the, the reins are loose, but she's mentally with me. She's not, I wouldn't fear now that the horse is gonna shy at something. Right, once we've established this in walk, we move up through the paces. 
So we need to maintain through each pace, the walk, then the trot, then the canter, we need to maintain that relaxation, the balance, the attention, and therefore the control. And the reason for that is that it gives us confidence and it gives the horse confidence. The horse knows what's going to happen next. The horse knows that you're not going to hang on to pounds and pounds of pressure in his mouth that he's going to actually get a release from that pressure if he carries himself properly and uses his back properly. As we go up the paces it becomes a bit more difficult for the horse so with each increase in speed you're going to do some relearning with the horse which is why it's so important to break this lesson down into the smaller segments that you can so the horse understands it on the ground, then under saddle, in walk, in trot, and in canter. And we never surprise the horse with anything so that learning becomes a really fun game and that the horse can follow along and they get so much confidence because you're praising them all the time. So here, this horse is just starting the canter and this is what you would expect to see. You can see she's a little tense. She's not really stepping underneath herself. Her nose is tilted to the outside of the circle. Now she's getting the idea with the canter and here you can see she's um, developed much more. She's stepping much more under herself. Her shoulder is well elevated. She's much more relaxed now. And then by the end of the lesson, you would expect to see this. And finally, what we've got, we've got relaxation. We've got shoulder elevation. We've got engagement, both engaging her hindquarters and mental engagement. The horse is now in the engagement zone. She's paying attention. The horse is with us. This is a safe place to ride the horse. Um, you can see a nice bit of flexion to the inside of the circle. She's stretching out, her front legs are stretching out. She's light in the bridle. You can see a bit of a loop in that rein. This horse is in self-carriage. She's carrying herself. And this is fun. This is what I want to ride. I'm sure it's what you want to ride. I want to have fun first and foremost. I want to get off from every ride with a great big smile on my face. And I want a happy horse and a happy rider. What happens when you start communicating with your horse like this and teaching this lesson is that you create a bubble around you and your horse and you stay within this bubble. This is where you're safe. This is where the horse is happy. This is where the horse is relaxed. And if you go somewhere to a new place or a show or something and your horse isn't relaxed when you first get off the trailer or something happens that upsets your horse you can bring him back to this lesson and say oh do you remember this we'll do give to the bit i'm going to pick up some pressure you're going to give i'll release it and your horse comes back to this wonderful safe bubble where you're in there together and you're communicating you can then take your horse in your bubble wherever you want to go and it shouldn't make any difference a lot of people say to me oh you know the horse is really good in the arena but he's terrible on the trail rider is really good on the trail rider is terrible terrible in the arena if you can do this with your horse it's not going to matter where you ride it's not going to matter where you take your bubble you can you can do that anywhere at all it's about communication and it's about relaxation after you've taught this course, wherever you go, you and your horse are going to be inside your bubble and safe and happy. So click the link below and I will see you inside the membership area. You have access to this course, which consists of a full length training DVD and a PDF to go with that and eight extra training videos that are going to take you through all the little bits that people find difficult when they're on their own. So how much pressure do I apply? Exactly where should I stand? What do I do with my older horse? Things like that. There's also a bonus course in there for you, which is all about understanding your horse's emotional level and how to manipulate that emotional level a bit to make your training more successful. You have access to the course for a year and I really look forward to seeing you inside the membership area.